All right, welcome back to the channel, ESIM Studios. We have another case review for you. Uh, this one is the Rinky Fusion. The Rinky Fusion case. It is a clear case uh, with a matte back. Now, I believe they have this Rinky Fusion case in the matte black, like this one. And then they also have a 100% clear one. Where it's clear on the borders just like this, but instead of having that matte back, it's basically clear, just like the sides and the top is. Um, it is a decent construction. Uh, we we get this every, uh, I believe, every device. This is one of the one of the few cases that we get with almost every device that we do have. Um, it is a TPU construction, although it's not flimsy. If you're not familiar with Rinky, it's a smaller. Uh, compared to Spigen and, you know, some of the bigger companies, Casemate and stuff like that. It is a, uh, uh, Rinky is a smaller company, but they do make, uh, 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 and they, well, let me, they only have a few cases, but the few cases that they do make for every phone are pretty well constructed and uh, very high quality. Um, and they are not as expensive as, uh, some of your other brands out there, and I believe they are American as well, uh, an American company. So we always do buy from them and support them. We've been using their cases for years. Um, let's see here. Now, again, it is a TPU construction, and it is fairly well. It's not too flimsy. Like, like, look, yes, you can bend it. Actually, not really, can you? can't really bend it on the sides, which is good can tell I'm trying to bend it on the other ones when I would bend it this way it would flex right here but this one's not so that's good that's very good actually that means it's very well constructed now it probably has a hard polycarbonate uh, plate in here and then everywhere else is TPU that's probably what it is and it's molded together because this is pretty freaking hard um, and stiff and rigid which you need that's good that is a good thing because you don't want necessarily want it to be 100% squishy all the way around. In the physics of when your device falls and the inertia gets transferred from your phone to the ground or vice versa, uh, um, you need a rigid, stiff design to hold the construction, and then uh, which this plate does. And then you need the sides to be relatively... Not too squishy, obviously, but you need to have some give um, to take the impact of the blow. So this hard plate back here basically holds the case and phone structure together. And then the energy is transferred throughout the flexible parts here in the case. So as you can see, it does get fingerprints. Now, check this out. The reason why we got this matte color is to prevent fingerprints. If you've gotten a rinky case before... And you've gotten a clear case before. It's a fingerprint magnet. And it bugs the hell out of me. Um, as you can tell, this one not so much, but you can see already in the light, there's one or two fingerprints already. It is pretty easy to clean. Let's see. Was that on the inside? Yeah, it looks like it. All it takes is a little uh, paper towel with a little alcohol. And let me tell you our solution, our cleaning solution. Uh, rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol. Um, so out of out of 10 parts, right? We do like four, five, five parts. Excuse me, four parts rubbing alcohol, 91%. Uh, two parts hydrogen peroxide, and then four parts uh, water, tap water. And then you just put a drop, just one drop to hold it upside down, just one drop of dishwashing uh, or dish uh, dish liquid. Did I say that right? Dishwashing liquid, uh, hand soap or whatever. Just one drop, and then you shake it up, and it cleans and kills germs. And just see how nice it came out. Very very nice, easy cleaning solution. You can make it at home. It's way cheaper than buying it from the store. But let's see. So you got a stiff back. You can see this right here is a. Uh, fairly giveable it makes it easier to put the device in here as well you have let me move these to the side you have your volume now it is ribbed up here which i just noticed too i don't think they did that on their old ones 
Now, just your power is ribbed, and then your volume up and volume down are not. But that's okay. At least you can find which one is power, and then you can wait. Like if this is in your pocket, you can feel which one is uh, power, and then you can go from there and say, oh, okay, this one's power. I mean, excuse me, this is power. Well, then that's volume up, and that's volume down. Um, you do have a cutout there for a lanyard. What does it say there? Huh, I can't even read that. Maybe it's engraved on the inside, made in USA, something like that. So, yeah, you got a rinky right there. So you got cutouts here for a lanyard wristband, lanyard wristband. Now, these do this does have an air pocket, which I'm, I'm always excited to see. It has a nice big cutout for your USB Type-C cable. Precise cutouts for the speakers. We just went over the uh, volume rocker and power button. You got the mic cut out up top. And that looks like it. Now, let's look at the... If you can tell right here in all four corners. There is... It's kind of hard to see because the case is clear and we're looking through it. But there are big air pockets in all four corners. And this does provide a bunch of lip protection. So we'll go ahead and slap it on the phone. And see what we got. And it provides plenty of camera protection. Look at that. So, let's put it on the... You know what? Let's go with the blue one. Plus, this one has a screen... You know what? Hang on. Whoops. Let's do this one first. I know a lot of people have the white Pixel 8 Pro. It goes on there. So actually, it's kind of a tight fit, No. Or just because I cleaned it. I Probably because I cleaned the phone and the case and everything's like kind of sticking together. It goes on easy. Yeah, that looks nice. Real nice. In fact, it almost looks like you don't have a case on there. Oh, you know what reminds me? Check it out. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Uh, they used to on the other models. Maybe it was for the Samsung. And they used to have little... little Little raised, um, just 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 teeny tiny uh, raised uh, corners in all four corners. So when you lay your phone on the on the um, table or a surface, it's not going to scratch the camera. But this one doesn't have it. I could have sworn it did, but it doesn't look like it does. Does protect the camera. Nice big cutouts. It's raised up quite a bit, and it's got the dot matrix inside this case. If you don't know what dot matrix is. Dot matrix inside these clear cases. You see how it looks like there's like a million little dots? That's actually on the inside of the case. Now, they put that in there so it, you don't get the water effect. Because if you have a completely clear case um, and you don't put the dot matrix in there and you slap the clear case on your phone and the back of the phone is glass, it looks like, like the design. It looks like there's like water inside here. Like you'll see big... Uh, indications where the case is kind of sticking to the phone. So they put that dot matrix inside the case to prevent it from looking like uh, you have water inside your case in between your phone and your case. But it looks cool because it makes it look kind of shiny. Notice that? I think it's all the way around. It sure is. I didn't even notice that right now. Cool. So, now this is the matte finish. This little clear top, clear bar up top is not. This one's 100% clear. And this is the matte finish that's got the, probably that uh, harder plate in there to, to keep it secure and rigid. The mic is a precise cutout. Plenty of screen protection. Got a nice lip. See how it's raised on the four corners? Comes up, it comes up. Just to give extra protection on your screen. Now, this one does not have a screen protector, but well, I'll put the blue one in and then we'll check to make sure it clears the screen protector. Nice cutouts there. Yeah, so you're not gonna have any issues Laying this down, not going to scratch the screen whatsoever. It's really nice. It's, you know, looking at it the other day, 
I was looking at the phone on the table and I almost thought I glanced at it. And when you glance at it, it looks like the phone is not even inside of a case. That's the nice thing about this. Some of these cases, this rinky case is real nice because it's minimal. A lot of these clear cases are junk material, not the rinky. I'm talking about the like super cheap clear cases for just a few dollars and very, very cheap material. Rinky has guaranteed that this case will not yellow over time. A lot of the cheap clear cases you'll see uh, turn yellow over time. Now that's because of the UV light from the sun basically turning the material uh, yellowish over time, over pro prolonged use. Uh, like I said, we've had Rinky for years, uh, purchased their cases for years. I've never actually had one that turned yellow. So I can honestly believe them when they say this is a, uh, a non-yellowing uh, material. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the blue one on and check out the screen protector. Put that in first, pop it into place. Whoa, that's nice. That looks cool. Yeah, that, that dot matrix makes it looks kind of glittery. Interesting. I'm not sure many people... I'm not sure everybody will like that, but it, look, it looks cool. Plenty of room for any, any charger. You can see the air pockets inside the corner right there. Now let's try the screen protector. Is it a go? And sure is. Cool. Absolute perfect, perfect fit. Still have room, so you're not, your screen protector is still not going to scratch when you lay it face down. The lip still raises, comes up over that screen protector. Man, that's a nice, that's a nice fit. Very, very precise can tell a lot of good engineering and R&D went into the construction of this case. They never fail. I never had an issue with any any of their products. Um, they're usually my go-to case. Um, usually the three or four cases I always get, one of them's Rinky. And this is uh, the Rinky Fusion. Now, I'm going to link this in the description below. Again, they do have a 100% clear one. This one is matte, although it's not going to show the fingerprints. If that bugs you, like it bugs me, go ahead and pick this one up. You can't even really tell. And, and look, check this out. Even the back of the phone looks kind of matte anyways, right? It's like a frosted glass, like a frosted finish. This is not glossy. The phone is not glossy. So you would want your case to be not glossy, right? It kind of matches these two materials or these two finishes or these two looks. They match. So I think actually this frosted back would look better than the clear back. Let's try it again. Goes on nice and easy. Let's try the, let's check the buttons out too. Really, really, really good looking case. And it's not slippery, look. Is it is it slippery compared to my other cases? Yes. And that's because these sides, look, I guess that's true. If there's one thing I could change or any modifications I would make. I would put some kind of grip on the sides. Because look, this is not... I mean, it's smooth, but it's like a frosted finish. But then when you get to the sides where your hand holds the device, it's completely smooth. And there's no material that's creating friction uh, or stopping it from sliding out of your hand. Um, now that I think about it, um, it's actually kind of slippery. So... Uh, I would put some kind of material, whether it be little tiny dots on the outside, you know, make it look nice, but put some dots here or some grips, right? Put some kind of like, it doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit, just something. Uh, something would help because I, what I'm afraid of is if you're in the gym and you're sweaty, if you're outside, you're sweaty, if you're at the pool, sweaty, um, anything, if you're in the office uh, and just wash your hands at the sink, whatever, bathroom, this is gonna slip out of your hands. I mean, look, it's not it's not soap soapy, slippery, but I can see it becoming like that if your hands have moisture 
on them uh, here on the sides on these on these two sides right here but other than that it's a really nice case it's probably my favorite clear case and I'm not a clear case fan I just don't like them but this is probably the one to get if you are uh, in the market for a clear case this is probably the one to get uh, is this Rinky case but um, I don't know we'll have to see in the future if they implement anything on the sides here um, for a little extra grip I doubt they will but you never know um, but we'll wrap this up if you want to get this case the link is in, this, in the description it'll be to their Amazon store we are not affiliated with them or Amazon or anyone uh, we just simply want to make honest reviews and give you our honest opinion about uh, mobile technology devices and accessories so I do appreciate the time and uh, have a good weekend and I'll check you on. Oh, we have more case reviews. So if you're interested, check out our library of videos. We got more on the way and uh, I'm actually uploading some right now. So I will see you on the next one. Peace out.